so I have to wake up at 4 a.m. and it was, it was really hard. 4 a.m. wake up? 4 a.m. Standing in line for how long? Like one to two hours in line. Just across the bridge? Just across the bridge. Was it worth it? Yeah, really. It was worth it. About 80% of our student population lives in Juarez. So the school was, was founded many years ago, 1913. Um, Lydia Patterson was designed to help English language learners in the Segundo Barrio, which is one of the lowest income neighborhoods in the country. Our job is to make sure that they're taught at high, high levels, that there is an acculturation process, and that when they leave this school, they become productive citizens either here in the States or in Mexico. Here I am with a scholarship, a full scholarship. How's it feel? Amazing. I have no words to express how I feel. Lydia Patterson made it happen to me. We have always always listened to the uh, stories of these students saying, oh, I went to La Lidia and I got a scholarship and I went to a really good college and now I'm doing really good in here. Everyone is so different. Everyone comes from different backgrounds. You laugh all the time. You really have good times. Being in that school it was really good. The professors were amazing. I learned a lot from them. Definitely their their teachings helped me a lot through here, through here through OCU. There were many things that okay I saw this in in high school. I I remember this. Yes, very nice. I was really excited when I, I first came to Lydia Patterson. I was also afraid because I didn't know any English. I am doing what I love. I am having an opportunity that no not everyone has. Definitely. If it wasn't for Lidia, I would have never been here. I think that donating money to the school would definitely help them help someone and it would change their lives. And we're able to help them focus on, you know, finish school, go to college, go to university, and then you'll see that your life and the life of your family will be better.